Today's uh, the day we've been waiting for for two and a half weeks. We've been uh, trying to get ourselves in the best shape we can because uh, we want to ride to uh, Sacalobra today. It's a climb of about 2,000 meters overall. Uh, the bike ride from our hotel is about 110 kilometers out and back. So two big climbs, one to get out there, one to go down to Sacalobra, and then you turn around and repeat it in reverse. But uh, we're going with some friends that we met on the tour today, Rob and Allison, so we'll meet them soon, and uh, off we go. Closest they've gotten to the turtle and his island. And of course, the turtle's best friend. So this is our little group of four, just going through Kaimari, and the road just starts to kick up just up ahead, and after that, I think it's something like eight or nine kilometers, at or something like 6% average. So like fun, eh? take a final shot of our intrepid group all together before they all ride away. Top of Calderet. I am still hanging on to these two by the skin of my teeth. My heart's coming out of my lungs. That's where we're going. There she is. See you in There's some kind of collision in that last corner. We saw the ambulance an hour ago. A Thanks. moment of fame. <laughs> fame <laughs> okay. Look at that. Now that is, is when you like someone, when you're willing to give up some of your water for them. Clearly a landmark of these Majorcan lagoons, that deep aqua blue. We get right to the back of the bay. Some rules are meant to be broken. Final view of Sacalobra before heading up this nice twisty road for I guess it's 10 kilometers. I think the average gradient is 6%, and I am already tired. But let's do it. Ah, it's about five kilometers into the climb, and Feels nice to get off the bike for a few seconds. This has got to be one of the most scenic spots. I have to admit, I didn't stop just for the view. It's just up ahead and that's gonna hurt. This is the famous corkscrew, so it's a 270 degree turn. It goes under, under itself. And here we are, so this is uh, 
very close to the to the top of the climb on his mother 80 100 meters to Col de Ray, the peak and uh, it's spectacular up here very lucky to have had a nice day huh I've only gone this far you've gone all the way to the bottom did you take a picture of um, it's over there you can see all the roads you should go over there yeah yeah no I, I, I've taken one on, on the way down so we're good oh you did okay yeah I was standing there for a while waiting for you no worries all right, well, we're going to go up to the peak and then we'll take another video. Just another view of the corkscrew. So we head up to the peak over there. Some of the twisty and steepest bits coming up here. After you do that little corkscrew, about half a kilometer from the top, you get up to here at Col de Ray, 682 meters. Look at those muscles pumping. <laughs> Way to go, Beth. Yeah, that's how I feel. Tough day in the saddle. Here she comes. Look at that view. Well done. We keep going. I think we keep going. Okay. And uh, this is just, what do they call this? The love shack? Yeah. I have no idea why. I don't feel the love. But, but uh, all right, what an amazing mountain range. Now we head down the road to Poyensa. The last time we were at this point, we'd uh, ridden up here about eight or 10 kilometers to this spot, which is quite beautiful, but it was uh, threatening rain. Today it's hazy and overcast, but much more clear. So off in the distance, I can see Poyensa and Alcudia. I was just stopped here because this corner is kind of exciting. Yeah. Remember being here? Yeah. On a day that was uh, a lot more overcast. Today's pretty nice, eh?